Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Anna Burlers. I am Anna Moore and I am going to go over essential oils and travel today. So if you are unaware, I am a mom of two and a wife to a husband who is actually in the military. And so we move a lot. So we have way too much experience with traveling and with that, using essential oils. So I have definitely, through trial and error, figured out the best ways to travel with your oils and what oils you must bring with you. So I'm gonna keep it short and just go over what oils I highly recommend that you bring with you and then how you can store them and some other little tips and tricks. One product that even just traveling to the grocery store, we never go without. So especially if you're doing any kind of big traveling, international traveling, anything like that, is this On Guard Sanitizing Mist. So this contains the oil blend that is exclusive to doTERRA on guard. So this is so important because it is 99.9% .9 effective at killing the bacteria. It is antiseptic and it is all natural. And so what I really love to do is when we go to like restaurants and we're traveling or you're on the airplane and you've got the little table that comes down and your kid wants to eat off of that. I know my kids at least, I have two one-year-olds, are not to be trusted with any sort of plates or bowls or anything like that. They're just gonna chew on the edge. So I actually let my children eat directly off the table. And I know they wipe them down, but I might be a little bit over paranoid, but I like to clean it again by myself. So I simply just take this spray, I spray it on there, rub it in, and it's good to go. So what's really nice about this is I feel safe that it is cleaned off now for them to be able to eat. And I'm not worried about sitting there blowing on it, waiting for it to all dry perfectly because it is safe to ingest these oils. So that's what's really wonderful about using this spray. Some other ways that I do use this spray on travel is if they drop the toys in the airport or the room smells kind of stale or one of them did poop and I need to change it and it stinks. This is what my go-to is. I really love it so we keep this everywhere. Traveling is very stressful, um, especially the type of traveling that we do as a military family. So moving internationally, those kinds of things. And with traveling, it definitely comes stress. With stress then comes a decreased immune system and you're gonna be more susceptible at getting sick at that point. So this is where I really make sure that me, my husband and my kids are boosting our immune system before, during and after any kind of big traveling, big stressful event. So for me and my husband, we like to do the On Guard soft gels. So that sanitizing mist that I just talked about, it is then put into a little soft gel that you take orally. So we like to do these before, during, after traveling. And then we also like to take that same oil in a roller ball. So if a, ro a roller ball, something like this, and just a 10 milliliter little thing, take off the top and it's got a little roller and you simply roll it on your spine and the bottoms of your feet. So me and my husband, that's what we like to use. For my children, I like to do Melaleuca, Frankincense, and Lavender. Um, we do that before they go to bed. And that is before, during, and after travel to help give their immune system a boost. Plus those oils are very restorative just in general. It's great for sleep when they're trying to figure out a new environment that they're sleeping in every night. So I highly recommend using those oils. I just mentioned the oils that you would use to help support your children in their immune system. One of those being lavender, which also supports them when they sleep. Then what about you as the adult? You can definitely use just the lavender by itself, or you could make a, like this little sleepy blend um, that we take with us to help us sleep when you're doing different time zones and all that kind of stuff in your environment and your bed and your pillows, all that kind of stuff to help you get a really restful night's sleep. My favorite blend is using vetiver, lavender, serenity, and cedarwood. I personally love all four of these together. Um, you can do any kind of combination that you would like. And if you're already Bringing that lavender for your kids, you could just use that lavender for yourself. I personally love that combination of four oils to really get a deep, restful sleep for myself and my husband. This is going to then translate into that holistic health 
in making sure that you're not getting sick by getting that extra sleep that you need to get when you're already you susceptible to that. Something that I unfortunately think about, which is fun, but not always, when you are traveling is new foods. You're gonna be coming into new things in water. You're not having bottled water all the time. New foods, all that kind of stuff. And with that, it is very exciting to have that new food, but sometimes that can bring up some stomach issues and some upset stomach. Also for flying or if you're doing any kind of different transportation things, taking care of your digestive system is extremely important. I have three oils, four oils, that I really like to use. So the oils for the adults, my favorites are ones such as ginger, peppermint, and digest zen. Digest zen is an exclusive doTERRA blend that has multiple oils in them. When I was pregnant, I loved using ginger, smelling it right out of the bottle to help me with morning sickness. I love peppermint if I'm feeling some kind of digestive system issues. My husband used to have to be on medications for his acid reflux, and now he is able to instead just use that digest zen. This especially does come up for him when we are traveling and he has new, having new foods. So simply putting a drop on under his tongue and continuing to do so as he needs to. Children, I really like ginger and also wild orange. Orange is very gentle oil and very effective in helping with any kind of stomach issues. You can dilute this and put it over their stomach on their abdomen to help support their little tummies. Plus these oils are able to be used for other things, so you're not having to carry a huge medicine cabinet with you in your bag. You can just carry a few different oils and use them for multiple ailments that come up on your trip. Now emotional support. So this is one that took me way too long to utilize my oils for and realizing that I do need some additional emotional support and it's really easy, simple, and completely natural to be able to do so. With traveling and with that, with especially military, with moving and traveling, the little ones and all of that, there's a lot of emotions that can come up. And so being able to have your oils to help you with that, whether that is you're fearful of flying or you're leaving your friends or you're going to a new location or you went on a family vacation and now you have to leave your family behind, anything like that, using your oils is really incredible. My top three oils to use to support your emotions during all of that are neroli, balance, and serenity. Um, you can just sniff these right out of the bottle. You can make a roller for them, I like to roll them over my chest and my heart, the back of my neck and on my wrists, and then smell them all in. You can be your own little diffuser going like this. That's where I find the best benefit with using these oils to help support my emotions. When you are traveling, you're probably going to be doing some more exercise, some more walking than you may be used to, sleeping on those new beds and different pillows, so maybe getting a little creak in your neck. All those kinds of things can get really some sore muscles and different aches and pains. This is where I really love bringing along the oil deep blue. So this is a blend of oils, things like peppermint in them, to be able to support and get you over that sore muscle state, all of that kind of stuff, and just get back to your normal being and feel better and be able to really enjoy your vacation. Great, so those are my top oils and blends that I really recommend when you are doing some traveling. Um, now I'm going to talk about a few little tips and tricks that I have found with bringing your oils along with you. Off transportation of your oils. I really like it being like a soft case like this. There aren't very many in it right now, but you can see that you can carry an actual full-size bottle of oil in it, and you can also carry a roller in it. And I find that really great to have for traveling. I'll the link below for this if you want to get this exact one. I really love it. It's got a little handle on it too. Then another thing that I really like, and I keep this on my diaper bag all the time, is this little keychain. So you can just undo it and it's got eight little vials. They're little five, five eighths of a dram in them. And you can put things like how I talked about ginger, you put ginger in there, smell that in to help yourself. Um, I really like just how compact that is and I don't even have to think about it. Just have it in the diaper bag all the time or your backpack while you're traveling to the airport. Um, but I find that very, very helpful. And this one is, particular one is for doTERRA. 
Um, another little tip that I like to do is when you are making your own blends or you are getting pre-made rollers, making sure that they are metal. So you can see that that ball right there is a metal ball. That's really important so that they do not leak. All of doTERRA's rollers now are these metal ones, which is very appreciated because I used to get plastic ones before and they definitely did leak, especially if you are traveling, you don't want that to happen. So I would highly recommend getting that. Then I also recommend bringing a diffuser with you. You can get a tiny little diffusers. I just pack like the one as you can kind of see in the background. I usually pack one like that. And that is really great to help if the room is smelling kind of gunky or you need it for sleep or you are feeling kind of nauseous, kind of, you know, I don't know. It's really nice having a diffuser and kind of a little bit of taste of home, especially if you are traveling like we do with the military and you live in out of hotels, wait until you get into your new home for your next little bit of time. Um, I really like bringing a diffuser along. The thing is figure out what your favorite little oils are. So for me, my absolute must have is always the rolly. I always, always bring that with me everywhere I go. With my kids, it's their teething blend because you never know when they're gonna start popping some teeth out and I can't go without their teething blend. So finding what your family really needs and bringing that along as well. If you want more tips and tricks, I do have a wonderful set of cheat sheets that go over things like aches and pains and essential oils for breastfeeding and just overtaking your medicine cabinet. You can click the link below and get that in your hands. Totally free. If you're not already into oils, I would love to help you get started. If you're not using doTERRA, different brand, I would love to discuss with you moving to doTERRA brand oils. Um, if you in general just have any questions, even if you do use another brand, please feel free to reach out to me. I, first and foremost, just love helping people with using natural options and moving towards essential oils. So please feel free to message me, email me. I'm Anna the Oil Nurse at gmail.com. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, um, all that kind of stuff. So I would love to connect with you. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more. I work really hard to get weekly videos in between can talk about today traveling with a military family but uh, i will be here and i will do more i'll be educating you and happy oiling